You might know this feeling all too well. You're trying to get work done, but you feel mentally totally overloaded and overwhelmed. Your brain is foggy and you might even have difficulty sleeping at night because you have so many things on your mind. In today's video, I want to share with you a really simple activity that I do when I feel overwhelmed. So I would say, let's get started. Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Julia Arndt and I'm a peak performance coach and stress management trainer and I'm really excited to talk with you today about the big question, what can you do when you're feeling overwhelmed and overloaded? This is something that I experience on a regular basis and I'm sure that you are experiencing right now as you're watching this video, which is why you asked yourself the question, what can I do when I'm feeling absolutely overwhelmed and I don't know where to start. I don't know where my head is at, I need to focus, I need to get a couple of things done, but I feel like I'm in a state of analysis paralysis or I am procrastinating because there's just too much going on. And the reason why you might feel this way is this because over the course of the day, you are receiving so much information and data. You are in meetings, you receive emails, you are chatting with people, you are on phone calls, you receive text messages notifications on your WhatsApp, you may receive notifications from your social media channels, from Instagram, from LinkedIn, from Facebook, from TikTok. All of these different things are starting to overwhelm you and you don't even know where your head is at. And that is a very normal state to be in. Trust me, we are all there at some point in our life and sometime over the course of our maybe month. Um, we probably experience this on a on a weekly or monthly basis and there's a really simple way and simple activity that you can do and that I do when I am feeling in a state of overwhelm. So if you're watching this video right now I want you to take a piece of paper and a pen and I want you to start writing down all of the different things that are on your mind that you need to get done that are just in your mind, thoughts, feelings, all of the things that are making you feel the overwhelm that you're feeling right now. So take a few minutes and I'll do this with you and we'll just write down a couple of different things in order to make sure that we're emptying out our minds. Okay, so now that I have here a long list of things that I need to get done, I'm actually kind of surprised how many things I came up with. Um, so, you know, this is a testament of at 10 o'clock in the morning, how many things are already on my mind as well of all of the things that I need to get done. Now I make a decision on what needs to happen today and that's what I want you to do as well. So now that you have your full list of action items and to-dos and thoughts and feelings and you know all of the different things that are happening and that have happened in your day today, take a marker or take um, a highlighter or something and make sure that you are choosing one or two things that absolutely need to happen today. Okay. Great. And so now the next thing that I do then is I'm actually going on to my meeting calendar and I make sure that I actually have space and time to get the things done that I absolutely need to get done. Because one of the biggest problems that I have and that you may have as well is that sometimes I just feel like the day is not long enough to get everything done. The reason why that happens is it's because we are not prioritizing and we are not making time to even just plan our day and plan our time. This is super, super important. 
and once I have that it actually helps me to stay more focused and get less distracted and also know when I need to say no to certain engagements and things that I don't have time for because I am already feeling overwhelmed and overworked so I don't want to spend more time and I don't want to give other people more of my time that I already don't have, okay? Um, and you might wonder, well, this is really difficult for me because I have a job where I am I'm constantly responding to clients um, and you may feel like I have to do this. However, I am here to tell you today that there's always space for yourself and you can only manage your life if you manage your time and if you take control over your own time because nobody can take your hand and say you need to actually improve this it is up to you to make this decision and to say I'm actually going to make a difference here and I'm actually going to make sure that I'm finding space and time to get my done okay so calendar so here i have my computer right here so i'm just gonna open my calendar right now and i've already done this because here so yeah so now i'm going in my calendar Let's see if you can see this Okay, so now I'm looking into my calendar and I'm making sure that I actually have time to get these different things done. And that's super, super important. The reason why you're feeling overwhelmed is, is because you have too much information and data on your mind and you literally need to dump all of this stuff out of your brain in order to think clearly again. This is a super effective activity that you can do in order to help you move forward right because that's at the end of the day all that we all want to do right we want to not feel overwhelmed anymore we don't want to feel overloaded anymore and we just want to take action and make sure that we're focusing on the important things in our life so it is really important now that you're making a decision and that you're hopefully taking action because what I oftentimes observe and see in people is, is that now that you're watching this video you might find another reason or excuse why you can't just find the time to sit down and do this really simple activity and that differentiates the people that are successful from the people that are staying stuck in that cycle of overwhelm. So if you are a person that is taking action, please leave a comment down below, hold yourself accountable and to this community and say, I am doing this activity right now. And if once you're done with it, I hope you feel better and you can actually move into focusing on the important things that you still have to get done today. I hope you found this video helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you did and I hope to see you in the next video.